Good morning Year 3, I hope everybody's well. Today we're going to be thinking about homophones um, and what these are and how we can use them in sentences. So watch the video and have a look at the home learning website and you can find all of your activities there. So we know that homophones are two words which sound exactly the same but they have two different meanings and often have two different spellings as well. So what I'm going to do is show you a few different examples um, and see if we can use them in sentences uh, but making sure that we're using the correct, correctly spelt word uh, in the correct sentence so it makes sense, okay? I fancy making some cakes. I've got all of my ingredients here. Um, I'm missing a few things though. Mrs Cottle, could you pass me uh, flour please? Ooh, that is flour. Um, not sure what to do with this. Can you pass me the other flour, please? Ah, that's that's flour too. Why wow, words can be really, really tricky. Which flour do I need to make a cake? Do I need flour, or do I need flour? Definitely the same word but there's different spellings. Do I need flour to make a cake? Or do I need flour to make a cake? Have a little think. What one should I use? Should I use a flour or should I use flour? So then guys, as we saw, words can be quite tricky to understand. So me and my wife, we got confused between flour and flour. Which one should I use to make a cake? Have a look at these two words here. They definitely sound the same. I've got eight and I've got eight. They sound the same, but are spelt differently. Which one would you use in the correct sentence? Molly. ate her porridge. Which one would work? Which one would you put there in the blank space? If you said eight, you're absolutely right. Obviously I'll put a picture with it so that helps. But let's have a look at eight, shall we? If I look at the letters, I've got A, T and E. Now, I can rearrange those letters and I can find out that I can spell eat with it. Okay? And that's my little clue that this is the correct eight to put in the blank. Alright? So Molly ate her porridge. Can you think of a sentence where you'd use this eight correctly? Have a go and write it out on a piece of paper at home. And then what we're going to do, we're going to look at some different pairs of words which sign the same but are spelt differently, and we're going to see which ones we would use in the correct sentence. Okay, give it a go guys, well done. Okay, so what I'd like you to do is make sure you've got a pen and a piece of paper ready, and then we're going to read the sentence. I'll read it first, and then you can read it after me. I chopped up a to put in my stew. The outdoor tap has a... What are the two words? Which two words are the same that could both fit in these two sentences to complete them? So, read it back to yourself. Can you think of two words which sign the same but have two different meanings? What would you put there? So pause the video, have a little think, and we'll see if you're right. How did you get on? Did you get a leak? And did you get a leak? I chopped up a leak to put in my stew. The outdoor tap has a leak. 
Did you get the two leaks? Okay. Brilliant stuff, guys. Here comes another one. He picked her a beautiful red. The of chairs were all set out for the match. Which two words sound the same but have different spellings would fill these two blanks. Have a little think, pause the video, see if you can write them down on a piece of paper. How did you get on? Did you get a rose? And did you get rose? They sound the same, but we've got two different spellings, R-O-S-E and R-O-W-S. He picked her a beautiful red rose. The rows of chairs were all set out for the match. Okay, I'm going to give you another example. This one's going to be slightly different, okay? Okay, the wind nearly the man off his feet. The colour of the flower is... Here are my two homophones, blue and blue. What I'd like you to do, can you put them in the correct place? Pause the video, have a little think, and see if you can do it. How did you get on? The wind nearly blew the man off his face. Off his face? Off his feet. Sorry. <laughs> the wind nearly blew the man off his feet. Okay. The colour of the flower is blue. Hope you got those right. I'll give you one more example and then we'll sum up at the end. Okay then guys, I'll try and get this one right. This is your last example. The tree was covered in snow. My cat has very soft... Which of these two furs goes in the correct place? Okay, which one goes where? Pause the video, have a little think. Can you solve the problem? Okay, how did you get on? The tree was covered in snow. The fir tree was covered in snow. And my cat has very soft fur. Fir tree and very soft fur. I hope you got those right, guys. Okay, so to summarise, homophones are two or more words which sound the same but have very different spellings okay and they can be used in lots of different ways in lots of different sentences so just to run through a few of our examples we've got rose and rose blue and blue fur and fur and leak and leak okay so on the website, there will be a few different examples and a few activities for you to have a little go at. Hope this helps, and I will speak to you all soon. Thank you. Bye.